Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's get to know Wilson the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Tyrannosaurus Rex is the most familiar and most widely known dinosaur. Generally speaking, our first impression of dinosaurs is that they had a big head, walked on two legs, had sharp claws on their feet, short arms, and a long tail. But since the discovery of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, we have learned a lot more about this species over the years. First of all, we have a more accurate understanding of its posture. If you look at earlier reconstructions, you will find that the Tyrannosaurus Rex was often shaped like a kangaroo standing upright, with its head held high away from its body, and its tail dragging on the ground. Therefore, some early popular science books would tell you that the Tyrannosaurus Rex would reach 6 meters in height, and their head was 6 meters above the ground. Actually, we now know that's impossible, as the Tyrannosaurus Rex wouldn't normally grow so tall. Generally, its height is measured from the pelvis. Taller individuals could exceed 3 meters, but within 4 meters, the Tyrannosaurus Rex had many unique features, such as the eyes. When viewed from the front, both eyes of the Tyrannosaurus Rex would face forward. This impressive feature allowed for binocular vision. Some other dinosaurs, such as the Allosaurus, tended to have eyes facing sideways. Side eye placement allowed the dinosaurs to have wider side vision, which enabled them to see from far behind without turning their head, but at the cost of not being able to precisely judge the distance between themselves and the prey. For example, when a person looks forward, he will immediately be able to judge the distance between the object in front and himself. This is because each human eye sees things differently. If the fields of view overlap a little, we will know the distance between the object in front and ourselves based on the binocular disparity. This is how the 3D movies we often watch work. The same is true for the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Its two eyes were forward facing, and the large overlap of the fields of view allowed it to judge the distance between itself and the prey. Binocular vision was under hot debate in early years. People once thought an animal like the Tyrannosaurus Rex wouldn't actively hunt and that it might scavenge on dead animals, but this contradicted with the binocular vision. Obviously, the binocular vision could help it judge the distance between the prey and itself in order to attack effectively. In addition, the Tyrannosaurus Rex had very sharp teeth, which were quite different from those of other carnivorous dinosaurs. For example, the teeth of the Allosaurus tended to be flat, while the teeth of the Carcharodontosaurus were blade-shaped like those of sharks. However, the teeth of the Tyrannosaurus Rex were banana-shaped, which were almost cylindrical when viewed from above. They were extremely strong and sharp. This kind of teeth were strong and could easily pierce through the tough armor or skin of the prey, such as the Ankylosaurus or the Triceratops that lived in the same period as the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Its teeth were tough and strong. Throughout its life, its teeth would constantly be replaced, but at a slow speed. It would take two years for all the teeth in its mouth to be replaced. In addition, the lower jaw of the Tyrannosaurus Rex looked much thicker than those of other carnivorous dinosaurs, which were relatively thin. The thick jaw indicates a strong bite. When viewed from above the head, its snout looked quite narrow. The wide face allowed powerful jaw muscles to be attached to the sides. Only such a thick jaw could support the powerful bite of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. In recent reconstructions, the nostrils of the Tyrannosaurus Rex were positioned slightly lower, unlike those in early reconstructions. As can be seen on the skull, the nostrils occupied a large area. But we now know that the Tyrannosaurus Rex had an acute sense of smell. Scans of brain cavity fossils of the Tyrannosaurus Rex indicated a well-developed olfactory bulb, which showed that the Tyrannosaurus Rex had an amazing sense of smell. This is not very common in modern animals. We know that the closest modern relatives of dinosaurs are birds. Most birds do not have a good sense of smell, probably because the air in the sky is far from the ground and carries little olfactory information, so birds don't need to smell strong odors. Except for a few birds, most of them can't smell too much. But the Tyrannosaurus rex was different, it had an impressive sense of smell. There were many large scales on the face of the Tyrannosaurus rex. We can see the corresponding marks on the fossils. 
These might correspond to some large leather-like structures on the face, resembling a crocodile. Of course, there are different opinions. Some people think that these structures were for the attachment of the lips. Currently, we adopt the former theory and give its face a rough texture like that of a crocodile. Together with its powerful teeth, these rough structures could help the Tyrannosaurus rex withstand wear and tear. The Tyrannosaurus rex lead a violent life. We can see numerous cases of cannibalism. Many individuals sustained injuries on the face and the head, which showed that they lead a brutal life. With a strong bite, there wouldn't possibly be soft gum around the roots of the teeth. Instead, there would be structures adapted to rough eating like those of a crocodile. Now, move on to its neck. The Tyrannosaurus rex had powerful neck muscles, especially in the area near the head and on the sides, which shows that this animal was good at tearing prey with powerful neck muscles. Let's imagine a scene, after killing a prey its own size or larger, a Tyrannosaurus rex held down the prey with its feet, bit on the flesh, and then swung its neck to tear the flesh off. Maybe this is how the Tyrannosaurus rex fed, then move on to its body. The Tyrannosaurus rex had a broad body. When viewed from above, its body, especially the chest area, was well developed and solid. When viewed from the front, its body looked rotund. The two forelimbs were located on the lower part of its body. The short forelimbs looked quite amusing to many people. But in fact, these short forelimbs of the Tyrannosaurus rex were very common, especially among carnivorous dinosaurs that appeared later. The Giganotosaurus or the Carnotaurus that we are familiar with had similar short forelimbs. The proportion of the Giganotosaurus forelimbs was similar to that of the Tyrannosaurus rex, except that the Giganotosaurus had three fingers, while the Tyrannosaurus rex had two fingers. Speaking of the fingers of the Tyrannosaurus rex, in fact, strictly speaking, the Tyrannosaurus rex also had three fingers. It's just that the degenerated Metacarpus was covered in skin and flesh when the Tyrannosaurus rex was alive, which made it look like having only two fingers. The Tyrannosaurus rex had strong hind limbs. When viewed from above, the two ilia almost joined together. Such a structure indicates that this animal was good at walking or running. With the center of gravity being at the center of its body, the Tyrannosaurus rex didn't need a wide pelvis to stand firmly. Its two legs were close together, indicating good balance and mobility during running. Its pelvis was located at the center of its body, making a lot of room for muscles to be attached to both sides of the upper legs. This shows that the Tyrannosaurus rex was heavy and fast running, and had legs more powerful than we thought. It had four toes on its foot, one of them being the small first toe, facing backwards like that of a bird. The other three toes were fat. Judging from the bones, you would think it had slim toes. But if you look at its footprints, you will see that they are fat because the Tyrannosaurus rex had thick fleshy pads on the bottom of its feet, which allowed it to walk stably on all kinds of terrain and helped cushion its massive weight. Regarding its weight, if you look at early reconstructions, you will find that its belly was reconstructed into an S shape. We now know that its belly had a round shape because of the thick pubic bones. The pubic bones of the Tyrannosaurus rex were of the same length as the femurs. Besides, the gastralia extending from the chest all the way to the pubic bones allowed for a big round belly. Therefore, the Tyrannosaurus rex is currently estimated to be much heavier than we previously thought, making it a massive animal. Now, move on to its tail. The tail of the Tyrannosaurus rex was actually about half the body length. When people first discovered the Tyrannosaurus rex, they didn't know how long its tail was. Some early reconstructions were based on the Allosaurus, with a very long tail consisting of 40 to 50 caudal vertebrae. Therefore, for a long time, people thought that the body of the Tyrannosaurus rex could reach 15 meters. We now know that this kind of dinosaur would generally reach 12.5 to 13 meters in length, its body is not as long as it was previously estimated, because its tail was overestimated in the past. Now, we know its tail was relatively short, and that its whole body was compact and solid. Good, the above concludes our introduction to Wilson the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Thank you all.